Good afternoon. We're, I'm sitting here with uh, Anna Simeone Abruzzi and Nancy Simeone Anderson, and we're going to talk to them about their uh, growing up in Cohasset and uh, being actually born, raised, and growing up in Cohasset. And um, <coughs> Anna, if I could start with you, if we could talk about um, your grandfather was here in Cohasset, and and when did he come here and well, he came in the early 1900s, mm -hmm. and the story that I have, that we have, Nancy and I have, is that he went to live with some relatives in Watertown, Massachusetts, and he was, um, he sold strawberries on a wagon, a horse and wagon, which I think is kind of romantic, yeah, I know. and he would load up his wagon once a week and come to Cohasset and sell his wares, and he fell in love with the town because it reminded him so much of his hometown in Italy. Oh, wonderful. That's, yeah, it's kind of neat. That is a good story. So now, then your father came here. In 1904, mm -hmm. and he came through Boston with $12 in his pocket, and um, he went to stay with some relatives, which I'm not sure about yet, in um, Newton, and maybe that was the circuit that they all completed, I have no idea. But he did stay there for a little bit, and then he came to Cohasset, where my grandfather had purchased a fruit market where the Atlantic Mortgage Company is now on mm -hmm. Main Street. So we have a picture of that. No, that's not the oh, picture, this, though. This one? We don't have that Oh, picture. we don't that's have that, the, the fruit market. Oh, that's yeah, right. Yeah, see, that's not, we don't have that. Ah. But that was on Main Street next to the uh, Historical Society, one of mm -hmm. the houses. Um, so here is a picture, though, of... That is my uncle. Mm -hmm. And the little guy our right brother. here is our brother, Lou Simeone and he was four years old in that picture. So at, that makes it what year, Nance? 1920. Oh, okay, no, because he was born in 1920. He was born in 1920. Okay. So this is 1924. 1924, that's yeah. when I was born. Yeah. Yeah. And this um, market is located where Twist is. If um, I'm sure everybody's familiar with Twist on Main Street. Yeah. And that's where that is, and they purchased my father and my uncle purchased all the uh, properties, and um, they had rental properties as well. And they purchased that property as well as this property next door, which is 31 South Main Street. And right now it is a wine store. And they purchased both of those made storefronts out of them. I don't know how popular they were with the townspeople when they did that. Um, and that's where Nancy and I and my brother Lou grew up, right on Main Street. Right, right downtown Cohasset. Downtown, downtown Cohasset, yeah. yeah. Now, did they call it downtown Cohasset then, or did they Co call it Cohasset Village? No, it was downtown. downtown. It was actually, it was called the center. Ah, oh, the center. Yeah, the center. So we have a picture here. <laughs> A lovely picture here. I love this picture. Now, Nancy, you're not so. But now, what was the story about when Anna was born? We love that. I love that story. I do you too. love that story. I do too. Yes. Well, I thought my mother said the stork was going to bring a baby. Yeah. To us, so she told me to sit outside and watch for the bird, which I did for five hours, <laughs> and I never saw a bird come by. But the doctor came to the door and he said, you missed it, you have a baby sister. And that was February 5th, 1935. Uh -huh. I remember that. But I never saw the stork. So <laughs> now you grew up downtown, in the center of the downtown. But you call it village. Oh, okay. You call it downtown. Or downtown, yes. Right. Downtown. And um, tell us what downtown Cohasset was like at that, at that time. Obviously, it was, it, was your, it was your... Exactly beautiful. Well, as you can see from one of the pictures, it was just tree-laden. It was yeah, beautiful. Tons of it trees. was lovely. Uh, there was a 
two grocery stores. Actually, there was a, an A and P on one side, and there was a First National store on the other. Mm -hmm. And that's when women got all dressed to go to the market every day, and they shopped at the market every day. And I can remember our mother yeah. getting all dressed, taking her house dress off, to go getting to her best yeah. just to go to the store. But um, I grew up just riding my tricycle up and up and down Main Street, yeah. and um, there was a drug ice cream store at the corner, which was called Calls Calls Drug, drug Store. store. Yeah. And I would borrow borrow. <laughs> I would get a nickel for my father and go and buy an ice cream cone right. once a day. And we had a, uh, uh, two ladies that lived on Highland Avenue, <clears throat> and they had an electric car. And every day at 4 o'clock, everybody in the neighborhood would go out to watch it come by, and would come down and toot, toot, toot down the street. They'd go to the central market, and they'd get their groceries and go back up the street, and we all went outside to watch it, because it was very unusual. Mm -hmm. And uh, I've never heard of anyone who's ever had an, an electric car. Until today, uh, well, virtually. until today. Yeah, right. just right. barely. Yeah, new. yeah, gorgeous. Yeah. yeah. And that's it was oval-shaped, and they had flowers in the windows, and it was just beautiful. And the two ladies drove it, and one lady drove it. Who were they, Nancy? Gammons, their name were Gammons sisters. Hmm. But I never got their first name. Did you? Did no, you? they always no. were Miss Gammons. Yeah, Miss. They never Miss had a Gammons. first name. <laughs> Miss and Miss. Yeah. I don't think. But that's what, but it was, that's our entertainment. But it was fun. That was entertainment every day at 4 o'clock yeah. hmm. to see this car go by. But you all, uh, did they have parades and all sorts of things downtown? Oh, Memorial Day. Yeah. Oh, of yeah. That's so you, about it. Yeah. And I think, uh, I don't know, we just had a lot of fun. We, we played outside a lot. Yeah. And where the parking lot is in Cohasset now, in the pack, back parking lot, was all field. And that's where we played softball and climbed trees yeah. mm. all the time, right? Yeah. Yeah. You did. You did. I, I did. climbed trees. You didn't <laughs> climb trees because you were a lady. Um, but it was just a small, knit, beautiful town center, and everybody knew everybody. Everybody knew everyone. You yeah. Know. I mean, you could drive by actually every house, and you knew everybody oh, we lived knew in everyone. Everybody right. lived in, in what house? Yeah. There, yeah. Was, there was no danger ever. Yeah. That you knew of. So now, when it, you were of school age, you went to school initially at um, the school, which is where well, the present. I went to the Osgood School okay. in, on uh, Ripley Road. Okay, Joseph Osgood School. Right, but it was called the Ripley yeah, I think Road. Oh, the Ripley, Ripley, Road, Ripley School. Road School. Right. Yeah. right. So you yeah. walked to school. I walked. Yeah. And what grade did you start there? Uh, kindergarten. Mm -hmm. Until I think it was the sixth grade, mm -hmm. and then we went to uh, Osgood the high school. school. Yeah. The Osgood was Joseph Osgood mm -hmm. High School. Yeah. On. Um, Summer Street. Elm Street. Elm Street. Elm. So, so this school was in uh, was where the police station is now. Mm -hmm. Right. And, and this it was is seven to twelve. Seven yeah. through twelve. Yeah. And Anna, did you go also? I went there seventh grade, and I um, in the eleventh grade we went up here. Yeah. They had eleventh grade. They had to tear it down. Yeah. I think then. Yeah. So you went to the... In 1954 was the first class graduate. From here? From here. Yeah. But ultimately this school turned into 9 through 12 or did it start 7 through 12? It started 7 to 12. Seven, yeah, 7 to 12. Yep. Um, and Nancy, and you worked here at, at the, the high school. Uh, not at, uh, at... But at this high this school. One. I worked at this high school. Mm -hmm. I worked at the elementary school also. Oh, really? When did you start 19, at the elementary? Yeah. At Deer Hill School? Let me see, 19... Yeah, Ripley Road. Oh, at the Ripley Road School. Uh, I'm trying to think, uh, six. Nancy, Kathy, 57, Kathy. 1957, I started there. Mm -hmm. Then I went, I worked there five years, then I came up here and worked until uh, another 10, 12 years. Wow. Yeah. 
Excellent. I re yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. It was it was it was a good school. It was nice. Um, yeah. But so it was just the front portion. Yeah, it yeah, looks that's nothing it, like it does nothing. today. There was no, no. card no. yard. Right. There was, um, yeah. It was uh, Mr. Ripley was the uh, superintendent of the of the whole of the school the whole system. School, oh yeah. Oh. And principal. And, yeah. Yeah. And principal of all the schools. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. So the school had one superintendent and one principal. One principal, yeah. Wow. No, the principal was well, after Mulcahy he was after taught. a few years. Yeah, yeah. we had. But he was superintendent and, and principal of the high school. Oh, okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Um, so when you um, <coughs> when you graduated from high school, then what did you do? Where did you go? I went to school in Boston. Mm -hmm. I commuted. Uh, I wanted to live in Boston, but my father said, you have a perfectly no good way. home here. No way. Why would you want to live in Boston? So I said, okay. Um, so I commuted. We commuted on the train, and we had the same group. We had more fun. Mm -hmm. um, but I did live in the last year, <coughs> which was a treat. And, uh, and I, went to, I went to Boston also for yeah. two years. Mm -hmm. And uh, I couldn't live there either. <laughs> no way. You, I see you. I know. It. Oh. But nobody, not many people yeah. did. But what's wonderful is that you, you both raised your families here, which is yeah. great. Uh -huh. It's yeah. like virtually. I know. That ends up being four generations right. in that's this town. Right. I know. Which is it's really unusual. Yeah, which it is, is really unusual. Yeah. That's wonderful. And our kids yeah. and our children all grew up together, which was nice. Yeah. Uh -huh. and, and even now your grandchildren, and uh -huh. or, so that makes right? yeah. five oh, generations. That's right, another right? generation. Yeah, right. that's, that's, that's fabulous. And great-grandchildren, yeah, I have. That's yeah. right. Yeah, but they don't go to school here. Not yet. Do they? Not Because they're not smart enough. They're not but smart. They're, not. they're only two. <laughs> <laughs> well, um. I have to tell you, it's really, I, I love hearing stories and talking with people who have such roots to this town. Um, and and you know, I wonder, what is it about Cohasset? Is it the salt sea air? Is it, what is it about Cohasset that's so endearing to so many people? I don't well, know. I have to tell you that growing up, I thought it was very boring. Mm -hmm. I did too. Because there was really, um, unless <clears throat> you had TV and could watch Howdy Doody at five o'clock, or play baseball, or, marbles in the driveway and that kind of thing. There wasn't that much to do mm. for teenagers. Well, my dad you know, had a movie theater, you know, also. I don't know. No. There was a silent movie theater. In, at the town hall. Wow. For a few years. He had silent films. Yeah. And then uh, when I was 16 that years was old. That was your time, not mine. When I was 16, he had his first talkie movie, which was Whoopi with Eddie Cantor, was and I could really? invite all my friends for the movie, it's free. Was it? Was it? Yeah? Yeah. Where was I? You, you couldn't come. Oh. <laughs> okay. It was too uh, risky, the oh, movie. Okay. Risque. Risque. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But uh, I remember that, but I don't yeah. think it lasted too long. No, A because Loring years. Hall put it. Oh, that's put right. out of business. Yeah. Yeah, because the town hall was not conducive yeah. to movies. Sound movies. Yeah, we yeah. had a woman play the piano all the time during the f silent movie. That's kind of fun. It was something. It was really something. So, so you you felt for for teenagers, you had you had the beach, or you had well, we had the beach. Of yeah. course, I mean, you rode your bike to the you rode your bike anywhere. It yeah. wasn't like, oh, you know, mom, I need a ride because my mother didn't drive. Oh, number oh one. I know. I don't know that I'd want to drive with her anyway. Oh, no. Oh, no. But um, yeah. no, but you rode your bike anywhere yeah. that you wanted to go, and, and we know, did. We were lucky. Now I think how lucky kids are to grow up in Cohasset. They, you know, they go sailing, they go swimming, they go surfing, they go fishing. Uh, they could hop a train. We used to hop the train yeah. to go to Hingham to the movies, and it cost what yeah, ten that's cents? It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you could go to Hingham to Loring Hall for a quarter because the movie was fifteen and the train was ten. And the train was ten. Yeah. Yeah. So that was one good thing that you could go out of town. For 25 cents. Yeah. 25 cents. Yeah. Wow. That's yeah. a big deal. I know. I know. I, I know. That. Now, did the train run to Boston as well for you uh -huh. to 
yes. so that you yeah. could just go down to the train station, yeah. which was in front of the prison. Where the barber shop yeah. and the art center yeah. is? Yeah. My yeah. mother and I would go to Boston maybe once a month, mm -hmm. and, she, and she, you know, shopped, and we'd have lunch there, and we didn't yeah. take it. <laughs> 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 you didn't want to take me anywhere. Because you were a brat. <laughs> Oh, I know. I know. You were too small. Oh, I guess. You'd get lost you were, in the you were baby. I guess, I guess. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you, it's again, again just wonderful to, to be able to, to get an insight into, yeah. into growing up here. And it, it's amazing to hear stories about then okay. and, you okay. know, you're experiencing yeah. all of this to, to today and seeing your own children. You know, raise their families in the near, in the area. It is. It's a treat. It's special now. Every yeah, I, look I know back it. At it. It really is. So I thought it was yeah. boring when I was growing up. Mm. You know, when I was a teenager, mm. and I said, "Oh, I will never live here, never." But then I wouldn't move from here. Well, that, I, I think that's it. not that funny. What what is it that happens? I don't know. You know, it, and even for my decade, you know, you left, and I was like, "Oh, thank goodness, I'm gone." But then, 23 years later, I thought. I want to go back there. Yeah, it's really there's that something that draws it's you just back. Just drawing to you back. That's right. Yeah. So it's what? the ocean and the harbor. We have to put the def. We don't not quite sure what that definition is, but I it, know. it's something inside. But the people too, because I can remember my father had a liquor store mm. after the ice cream store. He had a liquor store, and people would come in with produce and chickens and eggs and fish and. You always had an exchange. I'm sure they got a six pack in exchange for it or something. I know. But that's the kind of way of kind life of that it was. Yeah. yeah. And the doctor would come to your house if you were sick. You know, Dr. Reed. Yeah. And he'd take a pill and give you a pill. <laughs> he'd say, These are harmless. And he'd take it and then he'd give you really? one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. so they probably were harmless. Yeah. Little, little placebo pills. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I have to thank you very, very much for taking your time to do this. I know we unearthed a few photographs, and it's been really fun to see, um, you know, see the town from uh -huh. your from your eyes as, yeah. as little girls and hearing your stories. And Nancy, you always you always have us in stitches. You know, um, you know, taking over the like the. Well, the taxi, I thought the taxi stories were really quite humorous. Oh, we didn't even talk about the taxis. Oh, I know. You were driving at 14. That oh, was a good story. I was story. driving yes. at 14. I used to drive, I know, and I'd get 50 cents. Big, but that's big, big. And I, yeah, I did other things too, but I'm afraid I won't tell you. Why? Well, I used to deliver liquor. <laughs> I know, for my father, because he couldn't walk. He had polio, oh. see, and he had hep problem walking. But I was 16 then, and he'd have me run in with a bottle of wine for Mrs. So-and-so. And <laughs> Don't say I won't oh, say okay. <laughs> It'll be incriminating. I know, <laughs> but uh, I did a lot, you know. Yeah. I didn't even collect bills for him. Well, that's because I had a lot of courage then, and I'd <laughs> knock on the door and say, you owe my daddy. One hundred and fifty dollars, and they'd write out a check and hand it to me. And wow! Yeah, and my father never said, "Here, here's a dollar for you." <laughs> never. He was very generous too, but we we never we never did things for money. Mm. We just, you know, like you have to do with kids now. You have to give them a mm. five dollars to walk to dog. take your groceries outside, or you know, mm. yeah, I know. Uh, but the taxi next door to oh, our house that was, was a, a whole other chapter. And it's just too bad because there were more characters. They should have been in the movies. Lived in that house. Um, because of the tra where the train was, they had, tax they had three taxis. They were red Plymouth Dodge cars. Yeah. And they were the shifts right, right here. Oh, yeah. And, um, I used to strip the gears yeah. all the time. And, um, the woman that owned the taxi would just grab you off the street yeah. and say, we've got to pick up so-and-so at the 511 train yeah. that's coming in from Boston. But Nin, I don't know how to drive. Sure you can. Oh, yes, you can drive. I've seen you driving. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But anyway, that it was, you could do that then. You'd, 
You could and just write up had, and charge and on us. No. Sundays, on Sundays, she'd have five of her friends and relatives, and they would sit in the living room and watch Liberace on television. And it was just comical. And they <laughs> they say, oh, let's watch Let's watch Liberace. He's got his um, with the piano with the candlebar on, and oh, we would get hysterical because we could hear it out in the window. We laugh and I. It's so off. funny. Was I so know. Funny. Just sitting, we'd sit on our porch and just to listen to them. Yeah. They were so funny. Oh, there he is. There he is. And <laughs> they'd be waving to him on television. Yeah. Oh my God, that was better than a movie. To have that next door. Yeah. 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 Uh, she was wonder? wonderful. We yeah. loved her. Nin. Her name was Nin. She I was loved. a Jason. Yeah. Um, she smoked cigarettes all the time. Yeah. yeah. But she, she was so good she, to everybody. She She'd always be making a pie for somebody, and she was a sweetheart. I know. But that's a whole other chapter. I know. D downtown yeah. living. Yeah, it um, really was. Yeah. Because you would tell me also about you. You would trade uh, comic books across the street oh, yeah. with a rope. Yeah, because yeah. I, well, be, where the mortgage company is now and where our house was, Bill McAuliffe, Billy McAuliffe, mm -hmm. who works for the water department, mm -hmm. he and I used to exchange comic books oh, yeah. back and forth. Yeah, we all did, because they yeah. were a nickel or a dime. Yeah. They were a dime, so they were a lot, you know. And that rooftop is where we spent VJ Day. I'll never forget it as long as I live. Looking at the parade through town. Yeah. The, the fire trucks and the police cars running through town and toilet paper oh, flying. Oh, when the war was yeah, over. Yeah. Oh, I know. Yeah. I remember that? I know. I can yeah. still see them. I know. Yeah. So, I know. anyway. But we and could go on and on. I know. I know you I know. don't have the time. Well, I really, I really, really appreciate your coming here today. and. Well, it was Being, fun. You know, going through all these photographs with, uh, to make this happen. And part of our Living History Archive. So you love to. There we go. There we go. And we thank you very we'll much. Be in history. Yes. Take care. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for thank having you. us. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. John Bob. <laughs>